हेलो एंड वेलकम टू बायोलॉजी बाय बिहू एंड दिस इज योर एजुकेटर बिहू प्रसाद रथा एंड ए स्मॉल इन्फॉर्मेशन हैज टू बी शेयर्ड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम एक्चुअली नॉट हाइलाइटेड द आंसर्स द आंसर्स आर प्री हाइलाइटेड दे आर हाइलाइटेड इन ब्लू कलर मार्कर्स ओके सो वॉच इट केयरफुली वॉच द वीडियो स्लोली डोंट स्कीप इट ओके यू कैन फाइंड ऑल द आंसर्स दे आर हाईलाइटेड ओके द ऑप्शंस आर एक्चुअली हाईलाइटेड सो गो थ्रू द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड प्लीज चेक दिस एंड रिमेम्बर दिस थ्रू आउट द वीडियो थैंक यू ए डाइकॉट प्लांट एग्जिबिटिंग पार्लल वेनेसन इन इट्स लीव्स इज कैलोफाइलम थिक एंड वुड क्लाइंबर्स आर नोन एज डैश द आंसर इज ए लायंस If the main stem becomes fleshy and photosynthetic it is called phylloclades a plant which grows on another plant without deri- deriving nutrition from it it is called an epiphyte okay epiphyte ko aap dusre tarike ke question mein bhi dekh sakte ho jahan par question aapko aa sakta hai ki ek epiphyte ka main role kya hota hai to wo sirf shelter aur support ke liye dusre plant ke upar depend karta hai द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ सप्रोफाइट इज मोनोट्रोपा नेक्स्ट ग्लोरियसा सुपरबा इज ए टेंड्रिल क्लाइंबर ऑफ अ लिलियासी फैमिली इट सोज डैस इट सोज लीफ एपेक्स डेवलप्ड एज ए टेंड्रिल्स व्हिच इज नॉट ए रूट वेजिटेबल द आंसर इज पोटैटो एज वी नो पोटैटो इज ए मॉडिफाइड स्टेम द फॉलोइंग प्लांट डिराइव्स इट्स न्यूट्रिशन With the help of a hostoria from living stems, the answer is cascota. We know cascota is a parasite. Root is meant for storage in sweet potato because potato, ginger, they are modified stem. Nematophores are found in dash. The answer is Avicennia. As Avicennia, they found in delta regions. और मार्सी एरियाज एंड वी नो न्यूमाटो फोर्स हेल्प इन रेस्पिरेशन परपोजेस जिंजर इज ए स्टेम बिकॉज इट हैज नोड्स एंड इंटरनोड्स थॉर्न स्पाइस एंड प्रिकल्स इन प्लांट्स आर मिंट फॉर डिफेंस परपोजेस नेक्स्ट वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन बाय बॉलबिल इज सीन इन डैस द आंसर इज एगाभे नेक्स्ट Parasitic plants absorb water and minerals from host plant by hostoria. Next. Lack of a which element led to evolution of a insectivorous plants? The answer is iron. Next. The food is stored. The food is stored in leaves in dash. The answer is allium. Biennial are plants which remain vegetative in the first season and reproduce flower or produce flower in the next season. Vegetative reproduction in Amorphophallus Amorphophallus uh, takes place by corm. Next, the following plant is insectivorous and is called sundew. The plant is Drosera. The stem is meant for storage and perination in ginger. Angiosperms differ from gymnosperms in having ovules enclosed in ovary. Roots are modified to thorny branches in Acanthorhiza. Most uh, most orchids are mostly epiphytes. We know If we see the plant, uh, sorry, population interaction video in my channel. If you see the population interaction in my channel, you can find the uh, I have mentioned strictly about these orchids, where I have discussed how they show a epiphytic relationship with a higher plants. Okay. Next, three lateral stipules are present in dash. The answer is China rose. One of the following is expected to have an age of about 1500 years. The answer is sequoia. We know sequoia can also grow up to 2000 years. A partial parasite. 
is uh, a, pass, a, par a parcel parasite takes water and mineral from the host but synthesize its own organic food you can uh, uh, remember an example is uh, sandalwood next the primary function of a stem is to bear and hold out leaves potato cultivation is done by tubers cascotta is an example of a total stem parasite it's actually stem here it mentioned slim but it's stem a plant which flowers only once in its lifespan is called monocarpic the following stores food in the stem potato which one of the following regenerates with the help of a leaf blade the answer is bryophyllum insectivorous plants grow in soils deficient in nitrogen an example of a parasitic epiphyte is viscum nematophores are helpful in respiration accessory buds are auxiliary buds plants which manufacture their own organic food are called autotrophic rhizomes differ from roots because they have scale leaves with buds in their axils roots are classified as adventitious based upon their place of origin food in sweet potato is stored in a root Offsets are formed during vegetative reproduction in acornia. Hook climbers are found in atabotris. Stem branches originate from endodermis and are termed as endogenous. As they have they are actually originated from the inner part of the plant. If it is comes out from the outer part of the plant then it will be exogenous. as we can see the spikes in the china rose they are exogenous here you can see in rose prickles are exogenous next 45 partial root parasite is striga and sandalwood monocotyledonous leaves have reticulate venation in smilax as we know monocotyledon leaves they have the characteristic feature of a parallel venation but here it it has shown clearly that monocotyledonous leaves have a reticulate venation so the answer is smilax okay you can remember the example next which modification of a root does not store food material the answer is stilt atabotris is a hook climber in which hooks are modified version of inflorescence The oil reserves of a ground nut is stored in cotyledons. Phyllotaxy is the arrangement of leaves. Sundew, dinea and pitcher plants are actually insectivorous plants. The food is stored in which of the following uh, part? The answer is fasciculated root. Bipinnately compound leaves are found in mimosa or mimosa C. मेन फंक्शन ऑफ अ लीव इज सिंथेसिस ऑफ अ फूड देखिए यहाँ पर एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस भी आप कह सकते हो क्योंकि वहाँ पर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड का एक्सचेंज हो रहा है ऑक्सीजन के साथ या फिर ट्रैपिंग ऑफ गैसेस हो रहा है या फिर प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसपेरेशन हो रहा है लेकिन अगर आप देखो तो मेनली ये सब कौन से काम के लिए हेल्प करते हैं ज़्यादातर सिंथेसिस ऑफ फूड के लिए सो so, इसीलिए द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ लीव इज सिंथेसिस ऑफ फूड एंड अदर आर द auxiliary functions but if here if, if if there will be an option of all of the above then i will definitely go for all of the above then a rootless aquatic herb which forms leaf bladder to trap insect is orticularia then buds are found at base of leaves and tips of branches then tuberous tap roots is found in raphanus sativus then which of the following monocot has a reticulate venation so the answer is smilax i have discussed it earlier santalum album is a dash it's a, para, a partial root parasite 
Suckers are meant for vegetative propagation in dash. The answer is Jusia. यहाँ पर जूसिया का स्पेलिंग एरर है लेकिन द आंसर इज जूसिया द स्टेम इज एक्सट्रीमली एनलार्ज इन कॉर्म इन आकाशिया हुई पार्ट सॉर्स द फंक्शन इन फोटोसिंथेसिस द आंसर इज पेटियो एक्सट्रीम जेरोफाइटिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर फाउंड इन कैक्टस देन स्टिप्यूल्स आर मॉडिफाइड इन टू टेंड्रिल्स इन स्माइलक्स then vegetative propagation in agave is by bulbils i have discussed this same question earlier the plant with the biggest flower rafflesia is a dash it's a total root parasite epiphytes are plants which are dependent on the plants for dash the option is option d that is only for support and shelter then Among the following, which one is a modification of a stem? The answer might be ginger or mango ginger. But as here uh, it is a ginger, then clearly the answer is ginger. Okay, mango ginger. It is also uh, one of the plant from the turmeric family. Okay, but they are all the modification of stem. So I I am going with uh, ginger. Then storage leaves are found in allium. next question the first few leaves after the cotyledon in seedling of acacia are pinnately compound okay to yahan par question ek bahut hi bada question yahan par puch laya hai to ye question aisa hai ki jo first few leaf hote hain cotyledon mein kiska jo acacia ka they are pinnately compound okay but the petioles of upper compound leaves are flattened and they bear fewer pinnae okay The adult plant has only parallel venation in leaves like flattened petiole, but no pinnae. This indicate what? This indicate the adult plant has leaves reduced to phyllodes, while the seedling leaves are not so reduced. Okay, so option A is the right answer. You can pause here. You can write the question, and then you can make yourself understand about the question. What it asking for? What it is asking for? then you can choose the correct options okay next a modification of a bud which can bear leaves flowers and fruit is called a thorn single internode with long branches of cladodes are found in asparagus the prop roots are adventitious roots in opuntia photosynthesis is performed by phylloclades next During germination, cotyledons remain underground in gram. Next, the growth of buds in conifers is excurrent. Okay, the major function of a cotyledon in a seed is to supply nutrition to the young embryo. Next, Brussels sprouts are described as vegetative buds. Next. Orcasia stipules are found in Polygonum. Next, in Passiflora tendrils are modification of axillary buds. So with this, I have completed part one of the morphology of angiospore. A next part is coming with another eighty questions from eighty one to one sixty, and it will come uh, hopefully today or tomorrow. so keep supporting uh, and keep waiting for this video too and if you like the series then click on the playlist and uh, do check out the other videos which are also extremely important and then you can share it uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, liking to our videos thank you very much